Hello guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrappin' 2. Today I'll be creating a simple scenery using only cardstock from Paper Temptress and Gerda Sterner Designs stamp sets. The stamp sets that I'll be using is this Happy Fall stamp set and this How Old Sentiment from Monster Party. And I wanted to create this scenery here. I have some things laid out. This is a Cordovan leather cardstock. I have used this before. It has like a leathery texture to it. And this is a parchment cardstock, which has really great colors, as you can see. And then this is a uh, another cardstock which is I believe it's a crepe crepe paper crepe cardstock but it has a a lot of texture super um cool it almost feels like fabric it's very very neat very unique cardstock here so I went ahead and cut out a sun using the lawn fawns stitched die and as you can see that's how it's going to look initially I was just going to cut a square frame to create my scenery but when I saw this panel I thought it would be fun to um, create the scenery in this two separate panels something a little different So those um, rectangles were cut out using um, MFT's, uh, I believe it's a panel, stitch panel die. And here I'm stamping out the tree trunks and I'm masking out the first tree trunk so that the other tree trunks look like they're behind the first one. And I already stamped and cut out this squirrel. I use my scan and cut to cut it. Majority of the time, uh, I use my scan and cut. And I want my squirrel to be looking up the sky. And now I want to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. Now I wanted to emboss it white. So I'll be prepping my uh, cardstock here using the EK Success Powder Tool. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment. And as you can see here, we got a really crisp impression, but I may have uh, rocked it a little bit as I was stamping it. So I had to kind of fix that. And I got embossing powder all over my workspace. <laughs> and I want to heat up my heat gun really well before I put it to the cardstock. And I'm going to go ahead and emboss the sentiment. So when I saw this parchment cardstock, it reminded me of a sky. And that's what kind of um, inspired me to create this uh, scenery. I'm going to go ahead and quickly color my squirrel using some Copic markers. And I'm using E57 and E55 and an R20 for the cheeks. I'm doing a really fast coloring. It's a small image. And I like to start out with my darkest and then 
use my medium and then a light but in this case I'm only using two colors so the dark and the light super cute I really love this stamp set the critters in here are super cute and you can use these critters all year round that's what I love about Gerda's stamp sets is that they are so versatile so that you can use them all year round so I wanted the tail to kind of look like real hair so I kind of did some flickings adding some more shade and I'm going to go around the edges using a memento marker, brush marker, so that uh, there will be no white showing. So it kind of makes it look like it was cut perfectly. So this is how my scene is going to look. And now I'm going to go ahead and add some clouds here. That was cut with the same uh, die set. It has really cute uh, stitching all around. And now I'm stamping my kites that my squirrel will be holding. So I did absolutely no inking for the sky. Here I have some design paper and I'm going to go ahead and stamp my kite on them and I'm going to cut them out because I'm going to attach that to the kites. So I'm paper piecing the kites. And now I'm going to start putting everything together. So I went ahead and used my Tombow Mono Multi Glue, added some glue to my sun, and I'll be putting that in the corner, top right corner there. And I'm going to cut off the excess. So I want the placements to be perfect. So I'm going to keep layering uh, on that panel and then putting on whatever it is that I'm going to put on to this scene. And because the background is a little bit blue, I uh, didn't put any color to my clouds. I'm going to go ahead and put that cloud on the top. So now I'm going to add this panel. I put some ATG at the bottom. But for the frame part, I'm using my Tombow liquid glue because it's a very fragile uh, frame. So I'm making sure it's lined up perfectly and I'm going to cut off that little bit that's hanging off uh, on the sides. And now I'm going to go ahead and prep my card base, which is a 110 pound Nina Solar White top folding card, scored it at five and a half. And I'll be putting this panel right on 
my card base and it's going to fit perfectly on top of the card base. I'm going to go ahead and try to line it up as best as I can and it will cover the entire panel. And I want it to round the bottom corners. So I'm using the We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chomper. I use the half an inch. And I'm going to go ahead and put my cloud right there at the, on top. Cut off the excess. And I'm using these super tiny little foam squares here. I think it's uh, by Best Creations because I don't want to cut my foam to like super small and then I'm gonna attach my kites as well I went around the edges of the kites with the black marker as well here the clouds were a little bit off and I needed to fix that and then my squirrel Now I'm using a black gel pen and I'm going to make the kites, kite strings. And I'm just drawing it freehand, trying to make it look as natural as possible. I'm not the best um, doodler. And I went over the squirrel's eye and the nose as well with the black gel pen. So this basically finishes off my card for today. I hope you guys like this. I thank you guys so much for stopping by and you can see uh, close-up photos and all the supplies will be listed in the link description below. You can see all of that texture. Thanks so much. Bye!